Jamie, how you doing, man? Pretty good, thanks. How about yourself, James? Doing really, really good, man. We just need to find out more about you, more about your character and stuff like that. Because, I mean, beyond, honestly, beyond the first few episodes, we haven't really seen much of you and much of the monsters. So why do I feel like, Jamie, this is setting us up for something huge that's going to be coming for the last part of this season? Oh, I'm not sure. Can't really say anything yet. All I, know, all I can say is just keep watching. And I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Oh, I have no doubt about that. Now, we oh, do know sure. one thing. We know the monsters sleep underground. We found that out early on, early on in the season. We saw them in the tunnels. We don't know much else beyond that, though. So will we start to maybe learn a little bit more, at least, about them in this latter half of the season? You know, I'm not really sure about this yet. So I right now I'd say I know as much as the audience does. Because you guys, I've talked to a lot of the other members of the cast and you guys kind of get the scripts as you go. So maybe, do you do you really just maybe not know where things are going at this point? No, I'm not really sure. And I kind of like it that way because every time I see a new episode, I'm I'm all the more surprised and excited to see it. We do know that we've got episode six coming up this week. And I don't want to do any spoilers, of course, for that, but it's a huge episode. A couple of the other members of the cast say it's a game changer. So how, just how crazy was it shooting that episode? Did it kind of feel that epic on that day? It did. It really did. The whole time I was shooting, it was so exciting. Well, actually every day on set was exciting, but that scene in particular, it was, it was just amazing. I feel like for you, Jamie, Smiley, to me at least, is the most recognizable of all of the group of the monsters to me. So how do you prepare yourself to basically play a character that goes from Leave it to Beaver to a Demogorgon in like two <laughs> seconds? How, how do you do that, man? Well, just uh, put on the grin and try not to freak people out too much while I'm, well, we're not filming. So just put on the grin, smile, be creepy, and away we go. Now that you've been playing this character for, let, let's say, a season and a half, because based on what we've seen, that smile, man, are you consciously aware of that now, like in public and things like that, where you kind of try to, okay, I don't want to do it too much because now people are recognizing me basically for this. Well, the smile on set, it's always how I've naturally smiled. I just find sometimes when I'm filming or with the makeup on, what have you, when I do smile, I know it's freaked out some people, so it's like, okay, maybe don't make direct eye contact with them right away. Then with the hair and makeup on, just smile, relax. It's like, it's like, oh, Jesus, smile. It's like, oh, okay, it's Jamie. It's cool. It's cool. Everything's fine. <laughs> like, oh, my God. Because even my even my family and friends who have been watching the show, I just got to remember, it's they've never followed much of horror, but I just told them, okay, sorry in advance. If I freak you out, just remember, it's me. Relax, right? So... I even have people, and this is family and friends I've known basically my whole life. They're even up to the screen like, eh. <laughs> like just holding their hands off, just looking. It's just like, okay, it's me. It's like, okay, it's Jamie, it's Jamie. And I even had one person tell me, say, they actually told me, okay, I'll watch it because you're in it, but it's going to be broad daylight and all the lights are going to be turned on. Sure is there enough, any other way to watch this show, <laughs> honestly? <laughs> <laughs> No, fair enough. Then again, this person wasn't too used to horror, but for even those who aren't, say, the biggest horror fans, I would highly recommend this show because it's it's just such an excitement and a thrill. And there's more depth to it, too. It's just so amazing. I'd recommend the show to anybody. It is definitely so many of those things, yes. for sure. Now, we know the fans are called, they call themselves the Frummily, and they stand firmly against the monsters, Jamie. I'm sure that you know this. Playing the bad guy isn't easy. So what's the fan reaction been like for you on social media and things like that? When I've looked at certain comments and read a few things, it's really been positive. So it's, it, it's just been amazing. It's, oh my God, OMG, Smiley, we love you. It's like, Jamie, you're awesome, that sort of thing. And I and to that, I just can't thank everyone enough for that. Fr the Frumley cast, crew, and all the fans. I'm, I, I, I'm just in awe of this. It's, and I can't thank them enough. It's been pretty good. Actually, it's been amazing, I should say. 
No doubt about that. You've gotten to work with a lot of great members of the cast. And usually when you're on screen, it's it's intense. So that, that has that lends itself a little bit. So who are some of your favorite people to work with on the cast? Because I feel like you've had so many great scenes already. Oh, I I haven't worked with everyone on the cast, but everyone that I have worked with, I've enjoyed being with and shooting with and even just talking with Offset. It's and I always find the transition funny because Offset, I'm not freaking people out, despite how I might look, but it's, it's just how it's so laid back, chill. We're just having a, we're just shooting the breeze. Then as soon as the camera's rolling, it's like, oh, okay, never mind. So, yeah, as soon so, as that camera comes on, it's like, time to start freaking people out. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's showtime. <laughs> there you go. Really quickly, what's the, if you could pick one mystery that you'd want solved? on this show, just as a fan, what's the one mystery you'd want to find out more about? Mm, one mystery. You know, I'd say I would have, I'm that curious. I'm not sure if I could pin it down to just one. I just can't wait for the future episodes to air. Cause every, I find every time I finish an episode, it, it makes me want, to, it keeps making me want to see more and know more. So I can't really pinpoint it to just one question. It's really, ooh, what happens next? I can't wait. That describes the show perfectly, which is why you should be watching from every Sunday night on MGM Plus because there are so many great things to come. So much great stuff from this guy as well. Jamie McGuire, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it, man. No worries. Thanks for having me and great meeting you.